When you think classic movies, well, you think Gone with the Wind, maybe Wizard of Oz. Now, both from 1939. You think classic movie treats? Two names often come to mind. Those would be Goobers and Raisinets. They've both been around since the 1920s. But did you know these guys are related? Really, watch. You might say they're the perfect movie duo. You'll find these sweet and salty candy cousins side by side at the concession stand. Goobers and Raisinets really are a theater favorite. Goobers were introduced by the Blumenthal Chocolate Company in 1925, and Raisinets joined in 1927. In those days, goober was another word for peanut, which has a starring role inside each chocolate goober candy. Raisinets are made just like goobers, except that they're made with raisins and their own special chocolate. At the Nestle factory in Burlington, Wisconsin, they make more than 100,000 pounds of these movie munchies every day. If you took our movie pack cards and lined them up end to end, they would make it to Hollywood and back two times. Both candies begin with super sacks of cocoa beans from West Africa and Indonesia. Then the beans are then sorted and then sent into a storage bin to be fed into one of our two roasters. The cocoa beans spend a toasty half hour inside the 300 degree Fahrenheit roaster. Then they deshell and grind the meat of the bean to release the natural fats or liquor. It is not an alcoholic beverage. It's actually something that we then use and further process in the chocolate. The liquor mixes with dry ingredients like sugar and milk powder. Then it heads through a series of refiners. They add butter at the final mixing stage called conching. The end result is your finished product, which is will be chocolate. Meanwhile, piles of peanuts get ready for a chocolate shower. These are red skin peanuts. We keep the skins on them because that helps the chocolate to adhere to the peanut. We go through a lot of peanuts here. In one year, we go through 1.2 million pounds. They prep the peanuts with a primer powder of sugar and cocoa inside this large drum. Then the chocolate sprays on. An hour later, it's time for polishing. And you'll never guess the secret ingredient. In the polishing pan, we add squirts of tapioca. The tapioca will penetrate the chocolate on the goober and it eventually brings out a shine. The goobers pour out of a giant dryer after about three hours. Meantime, it's much the same story next door for Raisinets. We go through over six million pounds of raisins in a year. Prime coated and polished, millions of Raisinets pass over special screens to avoid the occasional Raisinette reject. So that you get Raisinettes that look like this and not like this. In the end, they're perfectly poppable for any premiere or family room feature. See you at the movies.